Here's a look at the new mythical epic Nebula which has been added into Prodigy. Yes, this is Prodigy Matthews, and let's get on straight to it. So number one, as you guys can see, I've gotten myself the new mythical epic Nebula. And over here, Nebula desc Nebula's description says, Nebula soars and swoops through the clouds in the night sky, playing hide and go seek with the moon and the stars, well I don't think that's exactly going to work properly, but okay. As you can see, we've Nebula equipped, and now I'm going to show you Nebula's moveset and whatever we've unlocked. Okay, we found ourselves the Cloud Neek, and let's go and attack it. Okay, first of all, I want to see what Neb- Okay, it seems like a level 94 Nebula has 10,000 or about 11,000 health, and well, our Mag Mischief at a higher level at 98 only has 8,000 health. Now let's look at the attack. Mythical attack just looks like. Oh. Talk about a disappointment. Wow, that was really bad. Okay. Nebula's mythical attack. I don't know. It's not the best damage dealer, if you guys ask me. I don't know. That that looks like it would only do 4,000 damage to a proper opponent. Okay, and so her attack is also the exact same as unlimited power. The same boring. Very much boring indeed. Yeah, it's just 2,000 damage. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. What we'll see is that in order to unlock the next two spells, you basically, I believe, only need to go up by like one or two levels. Isn't that what it is like? <laughs> Yes, as I thought, you only need to go up by two levels to unlock the rest of the spells, meaning if you call yourself a level, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 nebula, that would be quite easy, but if you have yourselves a higher level nebula, well, it's gonna take some time, but as you guys can see, nebula can cast these two spells, and it's the exact same spell as Storm's Wrath, so, yeah. <laughs> And as you guys can see, what we can do is we jump up into the sky, cast the electric spell on our opponent, and as you guys can see, we've cast our spell, our opponent is dead, and battle won. And not only that, but as you guys can see, our battle stars barely made a dent in our battle star meter. Yep, no progress whatsoever. Yay. I wonder what that third thing which you caught was. But anyways, as you guys can see, this is Nebula, they seem to be more of a tank, so maybe using Nebula in their arena wouldn't be so bad of an idea. Because with their insane health, which they already have, if we like, do something crazy, we could probably have like, Nebula with 10 trillion health, let's be honest, come on. Huh. Okay, so it seems like that the items for the space arena are already out in Prodigy, it means they're already added in. But now let's try something a little bit crazier, right, right, right? Watch this. And now, let's hop on into battle. Let's see what our opponents will do when they face a monster with 40,000 health. What will you do? I don't know, what would you guys do if I have the health equivalent of... Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so our health nearly... Our health is nearly double our opponent's health. And... Yeah, I guess Nebula would do good with a health... With a health bonus, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. But as you guys can see, you can also switch around your characters, which is not too bad. So as you guys can see, Nebula really won't have much use in battle unless you want to like level her up. Okay, here we go. We're casting our spell, and as you guys can see, it seems like that we have done. We've killed nearly our entire up. We've basically killed the entire enemy team by now, right? Yeah. Most of them are dead, but it seems like they do not want to cease their existence, so I guess I'll just cast another spell. Let's see how long our opponents will try the charade of healing themselves. It's no use. Ah, uh, yes. Useless popcorn. What do you think that will do? Anyways, let's cast the same spell to for a third time in a row we're casting the same spell. Our opponent must be furious. 
And now we cast a spell which will finish off our opponents. So if you guys ask me, Nebula is not too bad in Prodigy, although you really won't have much use for her in game because she doesn't. Yeah, because you know usually in Prodigy you want to deal damage and get done with quests quickly. It's not like you're raiding around like, hello, anyone there, or something like that, right? You want to get your battles done quickly. So then in turn that, Nebula, you would basically get her, like, if you guys are considering just getting a membership for this, don't do it, right? Yeah. I don't think any of the pets which have come up other than Meg Mayhem are actually worth it, because if you look at their stats, I don't know, maybe I'd want something with 50-50 or... 80-10 or 80-20 or 90-10 in terms of attack to damage but if I'm getting something like maybe 20 attack and like 80% health that's not the best okay that's what I'd say so yeah if you guys are just looking to get nebula don't do it okay but anyways guys that's gonna be all for this video I hope you found this informational figure out if you want to get nebula for your pet book or if you're like you know what nah I just want cool and strong pets but anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell and give this video a humongous thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, I'll be catching you all next time. Praji Matthews out the house. Bye and have a good time. Mythical attack just looks like the same boring. Very much boring indeed. Is that in order to unlock the next two spells, you basically, I believe, only need to go up by like 